Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Don Erickson here at Rock of Ages Lutheran Church in Wildwood, Florida, the villages. As you can see, I'm in the sanctuary of uh, Rock of Ages on a, a Monday morning, May the 3rd. That's right, a, a, a new calendar page has turned and we're moving ever closer to uh, realizing a full opening of our church. We're seeing uh, attendance rise, and we're also contemplating the restart of some of our other on-site ministries. So I hope you're looking forward, too, to a more open kind of society. We look forward to uh, seeing you in worship if you're local, if not, uh, to continue to connect with us on these daily uh, day starter devotions, scripture readings, uh, and to connect with us on our Sunday worship uh, videos, either on Facebook or, or YouTube. I hope you're feeling optimistic about things improving. Today, I want to read to you something that we uh, read in church yesterday. It's a very familiar passage, and it has to do with the imagery of vines and branches. Uh, the imagery is fairly easy for us to understand, uh, but in practice, uh, we need to be reminded every once in a while that we are connected not only to one another, but we are uh, part of the vine of Jesus Christ. And like any vine, it requires it to stay connected in order for nourishment to be able to produce fruit. You and I are the fruit of the vine of Jesus Christ. The gospel that we read yesterday was in the Gospel of John in the 15th chapter, uh, verses 1 through 8. Let me read it for you now. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into the fire and burned. Now, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Well, this is a, <clears throat> a fairly easy uh, analogy for us to understand. Jesus as vine, you and I as the branches. And uh, the fruit that we bear, the fruit that we uh, produce, is our righteousness, our way of living in the world as though we were little Christs, showing love and respect and concern and consideration for our fellow human beings. So um, stop and think for a minute what fruit you are producing. And what is the source of that fruit? And how is it that you might need to nurture the vine a little bit more? How do you need to nurture your relationship with Jesus Christ so that you can be, become a more productive uh, member of the kingdom? Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for connecting us to the vine, Jesus Christ. Thank you for producing within us the fruits of the Spirit. Thank you for letting us be your eyes and ears, your words in our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask that you would continue to nurture us, to feed us, to help us to produce uh, <clears throat> productively, help us to be um, fruitful in our world such that people will see how productive we are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we're grateful that you are opening us up and freeing us from this pandemic. It's not over yet. We've got a ways to go, but 
we're feeling much more optimistic about everything. So protect us, Almighty God, as we uh, venture forth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, Almighty God, that you give us this opportunity to uh, explore your word each and every day. Lead us to your word. Lead us to your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for spending a minute with me today. I hope that you're again well. And until we meet again tomorrow on Tuesday, this is Pastor Don saying God bless.